Welcome to the fascinating world of dragonflies, ancient masters of the skies, whose lineage stretches back over 300 million years. These remarkable insects have evolved into some of nature's most efficient predators, combining speed, agility, and precision in a way that few other creatures can match. Today, we embark on an in-depth exploration of their extraordinary anatomy, unique life cycle, and unparalleled hunting abilities. Dragonflies belong to the order Odonata, which includes both dragonflies and their close relatives, damselflies. The name Odonata comes from the Greek word for tooth, referring to their serrated mandibles. Fossil records show that prehistoric dragonflies, known as Meganisoptera, had wingspans of up to 65 centimeters. While modern dragonflies are smaller, they are no less impressive in their design and capabilities. The body of a dragonfly is a masterpiece of aerodynamic engineering, divided into three main sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. Each part is perfectly adapted for the dragonfly's predatory lifestyle. The head is dominated by two enormous compound eyes, each containing up to 30,000 individual facets called omatidia. An omatidium is structured like a tiny, highly specialized telescope. On the surface is a transparent chitin lens, the cornea which focuses the incoming light. Beneath lies the crystalline cone which further concentrates the light. At the center of the omatidium is the rhabdom, composed of light-sensitive visual cells. These convert light into electrical signals. Eight visual cells surround the rhabdom and transmit the visual information via nerve fibers to the brain. These eyes provide dragonflies with nearly 360 degree vision and the ability to detect colors and ultraviolet light invisible to humans. This exceptional vision allows them to spot potential prey or mates from a distance of up to 12 meters. The structure of their eyes includes specialized zones that enhance their ability to track moving objects. The upper part of the eye is particularly sensitive to movement and is crucial for detecting prey against the backdrop of the sky. Meanwhile, the lower part of the eye is adept at distinguishing colors and patterns, useful for identifying prey and navigating their environment. Complementing their compound eyes are three simple eyes, or ocelli, arranged in a triangle on top of their head. While not capable of forming images, these ocelli are highly sensitive to changes in light intensity, aiding in flight stabilization and horizon detection. This combination of visual systems makes dragonflies among the most visually acute creatures in the animal kingdom. The thorax of a dragonfly is a true powerhouse housing the flight muscles that make up about 25% of the insect's body mass. Unlike most other insects, including butterflies, dragonflies use direct flight muscles. These muscles attach directly to the base of each wing, controlling two pairs of wings that can move independently of each other. This unique feature, shared only by dragonflies and damselflies, allows for more precise control and individual movement of each wing, contributing to their exceptional aerial agility. The indirect flight muscles of butterflies consist of two main groups, longitudinal muscles that compress the thorax from front to back, and dorsoventral muscles that compress the thorax from top to bottom. This alternating compression and relaxation of the thorax leads to the characteristic up and down wing movements of butterflies. In contrast, the direct flight muscles of dragonflies allow for much greater control over each individual wing. They can move their wings at different angles and speeds, resulting in their exceptional maneuverability. Their unique wing structure allows for four distinct types of wing beats each serving a specific purpose. 
First, there's the counterstroke, where the forewings and hindwings beat out of phase. This is the most common pattern used for regular forward flight and providing continuous thrust. Second, we have the phased stroke, where all four wings beat in unison. This pattern is employed for quick accelerations and sudden changes in direction. Third, dragonflies use the double stroke during hovering. Here, the wings create figure eight patterns, allowing the insect to remain stationary in midair. Lastly, there's the gliding phase, where dragonflies hold their wings still and glide, conserving energy during long flights or when riding thermal currents. This versatility in wing movement, combined with the ability to control each wing independently, gives dragonflies their unparalleled agility in the air, making them one of nature's most accomplished flyers. Some species can reach speeds of up to 33 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest flying insects. Inside the dragonfly, we find a set of highly efficient organs. The digestive system is optimized for their predatory lifestyle, quickly processing captured prey. The circulatory system is open with hemolymph, the insect equivalent of blood, flowing freely within the body cavity. Oxygen is delivered directly to tissues through a network of tracheal tubes, allowing for the high energy demands of their aerial acrobatics. The nervous system of a dragonfly is a testament to nature's engineering. The brain, though small, processes visual information at incredible speeds. Specialized neurons can detect even minute movements, allowing the dragonfly to react to potential prey or threats in milliseconds. This rapid processing, combined with their extraordinary vision, makes dragonflies formidable hunters. The mating of dragonflies is a unique and complex process. Male dragonflies possess two sets of reproductive organs, primary genitalia at the tip of the abdomen, which produce sperm, and secondary genitalia on the second abdominal segment. Interestingly, before mating, the male must transfer sperm from his primary to his secondary genitalia. Females have a single genital opening at the tip of their abdomen. Inside the slender abdomen are the ovaries. From here, delicate oviducts lead to the genital opening. During mating, the male grasps the female behind her head with claspers at the end of his abdomen, forming the characteristic heart position. The female then curls her abdomen forward to connect with the male's secondary genitalia. This heart-shaped formation allows for sperm transfer. During copulation, specialized structures with small hooks on the male's adiagus can remove sperm from previous partners from the female's spermatheca, increasing his chances of paternity. This intricate mating process can last from a few seconds to several hours, depending on the species, and showcases the remarkable adaptations dragonflies have developed for reproductive success. The life cycle of a dragonfly is no less remarkable than its adult form. After mating, females lay eggs in or near water. These eggs hatch into aquatic larvae, or nymphs, which are fearsome predators in their own right. Armed with an extendable lower lip called a labium, or mask, these nymphs can snatch prey with lightning speed. The larval stage can last from a few months to several years, during which time the nymph will molt multiple times, shedding its exoskeleton as it grows. The nymphs are patient hunters, often lying in wait camouflaged among aquatic plants or buried in sediment. When prey comes within range, the labial mask is extended with explosive force, grabbing the target with sharp hooks at its tip. This adaptation allows dragonfly nymphs to prey on a variety of aquatic organisms, including mosquito larvae, small fish, and even tadpoles. To truly appreciate the hunting prowess of dragonflies, 
it's instructive to compare their success rate to other predators. With a hit rate of about 95%, dragonflies far outstrip many larger and seemingly more fearsome hunters. Great white sharks, often considered the ocean's top predator, have a success rate of about 50%. Lions, the kings of the jungle, succeed in only about 25% of their hunts. Leopards fare slightly better at 38%, but still fall far short of the dragonfly's efficiency. The feared king cobra, with its lethal venom, has a success rate of only 10 to 30% when hunting. Even among other insects known for their predatory skills, dragonflies stand out. Black widow spiders, with their potent venom, have a success rate of 50 to 60%. Dragonflies are also known for their ability to hunt in swarms, particularly when abundant prey is available. During mass emergences of flying ants or termites, dragonflies can gather in large numbers, creating a feeding frenzy that can significantly impact local insect populations. Perhaps most impressively, Dragonflies possess the ability to predict the future position of their prey. By calculating the speed and trajectory of their target, they can adjust their own flight path to intercept with remarkable accuracy. This predictive ability, known as internal forward models, is so advanced that it rivals some of the most sophisticated missile guidance systems developed by humans. As if their hunting abilities weren't impressive enough, Dragonflies also possess remarkable endurance. Some species are known to migrate over vast distances, with one species, the globe skimmer, Pantala flavescens, known to cross the Indian Ocean, a journey of about nine to 11,000 miles. This incredible feat is made possible by their efficient flight muscles and their ability to glide on air currents, conserving energy over long distances. As we conclude our journey through the world of dragonflies, we're left with a profound appreciation for these incredible insects, whose extraordinary abilities not only make them successful in their ecological niche, but also remind us of the intricate balance of nature. In an era when biodiversity is threatened worldwide, dragonflies serve as a shining example of the beauty, complexity, and importance of even the smallest creatures in our ecosystem, inspiring us to protect and preserve the complex interconnections of life on our planet. Thank you for joining this journey. Fascinated by the dragonfly's anatomy? Check out my playlist to discover my 3D animations of spiders, snakes, octopuses, the senses of the great white shark and butterflies or dive into the world of beverage production with my videos on whiskey, rum, vodka, wine, beer and coffee. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting insights into nature and technology. Which animal or drink should I feature next? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.